What up, Super Fun Force? Let's cover today the Beyblade Quad Drive Cyclone Rock Devore R7. I'm a little bit late to the party on this one, but I decided to finally get it because A, I wanted to have a you know Quad Drive branded string launcher, which basically it's kind of like the uh, previous gen uh, or the older gen uh, Takara Tomy ones. But I also found um, the fact that uh, my testing, I think these. Um, these parts here are going to be really cool, for sure. Like, I know that uh, Cyclone for Rockdivore, aka Ragnarok, uh, Honcho, or a boss, you know? Like, he's always, uh, his character, his brothers, his family, they always get the uh, the Cyclone, Rockdivore, or they always get the Ragnarok uh, Bay, And it's usually the first and kind of one of the weakest that comes from the new Takaratomi line. Uh, they don't really ever revolve, you know, evolve them. But apparently, from my testing, they've been pretty strong in the uh, Hasbro uh, line of bays. And I'm gonna tell you why really quick as I open this up. Oh, I just ripped the box a little bit. I wanted to kind of try to keep it intact uh, just cause it's kind of nice to have this. Uh, it's gonna obviously be pretty, uh, you know, retro in, uh, in a few years, but it's kind of, looks like it's not gonna be able to do so much. I'm gonna rip the box a little bit here. Oh well. All right, so now that being said, let's slide this on out. Um, there you go. All right, let's see how this comes. Nice. Okay, so this is this is what's gonna be, and uh, yeah, here's a string launcher. I'm probably gonna recycle all the inside parts though for sure. Colors look amazing. I like the blue and the orange. Feels good. Now, now I'll definitely have the sword launcher, since I liked rip cords when I first got into the Beyblade. You know, string launchers are more convenient for sure. Uh, they still give decent power, but over time they can wear. You know, so this cord hopefully won't be as as bad as the previous ones from Takara Tomi, but mine's have been doing all right. And it looks like you can switch here. The mode, apparently. I'm gonna check it out. But anyways, this looks nice, feels good. Uh, there is an attachment here, although I'm not sure where you'd be able to put this on. Maybe you can put them on the Takara Tomi grips. But I mean, this will be okay, you know, for sure. But let's take a look here at the instructions and see what it says before I go on and start hitting the switches and stuff like that. Uh, it tells you definitely that. <laughs> This guy here is a, um, you want him to be a stamina type, okay? And let's see. With the string alone, shot. here we go. So select that the right, just by, it looks like, uh, yeah, flipping the switch. So basically, if you look at it in this way, this is in right spin, yep, right spin. And then left spin, you just push it up like so. Um, I guess you just, yeah, you don't got to really do much. You just got to slide it up. I guess it's pretty tight. Let me try it. See if it's, I mean, I don't know. It feels like really, really tight. So, I don't know. I feel like I would break it if I just like did it. Um, oh, duh. Because I would break it. You have to unlock it here first. Ta-da. So you just put that tab up. And then, yeah, there you go. I see. Nice, okay, then you would lock him back. Sweet, that's really convenient, man, that's awesome. No wonder, when this first came out, I was wondering, like, I didn't see people talk about this, maybe I missed it in some of the reviews, but they were like, yeah, you know, here's the, the launcher, and I thought, like, you know, they would do a uh, left and right version, but apparently, as you can see here, it's both. So I was like, maybe they're gonna release a different combination package that gives you a new driver, maybe like a, or excuse me, a new launcher, like a red string launcher for left, because I thought this was only right, and then you get a different bay. So that's another reason why I didn't grab this one right away. But hey, it's good to have a new Hasbro Quad Drive, the official string launcher. And apparently, again, this is going to be the only one. Maybe they'll sell it separately, or maybe they will do a se another, you know, separate uh, pack. But for sure, this is all you need, left and right. And anyways, it's it's worth it because I have this orange one in Takara told me This is the prize bay. And it's cool because I played with that for a little bit, but I ended up uh, stopping my uh, my battles with it because I wanted to keep it in good condition. And for those who you know follow my videos and follow Takara Tomi, they release like alternate color versions that are easier to get. So I you know I put mine away. Um, and again, just like the Takara Tomi version, it's hollowed out, and that's why Takara Tomi's version of this is very weak because it has a nice shape. You know, it's pretty much round. It has these two notches here for a little bit of a counter attack. Um, also on Takara Tomi, these wings here, they can like kind of pivot out, but um, it's the same kind of like hollowness, so it's very lightweight and it does have good stamina, 
But now that they've released, you know, bigger, heavier, more powerful attack types, uh, this thing gets beat up really quick. So the thing about Hasbro is that all the Hasbro ones are pretty much hollowed out. All the Hasbro layers are going to be relatively around the same, you know, uh, weight class. So this doesn't suffer as much. Instead, it retains its good shape. So overall, that's why they do really good. You know, the, the rock divorce. And then, of course, if you, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> If you want to remove it, I didn't show this in my other video, but you just pop this out because um, this this core piece, or excuse me, this armor piece, this is what locks the bay together. Then you would twist out the uh, core, as you can see here. So this one twists to the left because it's a right spin bay, so you unlock it to the left. And then you put it back to the right. And then of course, you can put it underneath and then you can put this on top, and then what that'll do is it'll give you the uh, apex mode, which makes the bay, you know, a little bit taller. It's going to be, like, separated like this. But, um, yeah, I'll talk more about that in my lab video as I do more testing. But in the meantime, uh, let me just go ahead and put this back. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want, oh, you want to line up the, uh, the tabs here, the notch, as you can see right there. Ta-da! And then we're going to just press this back in, and it comes with six armor. Like I said in my other videos, you know, I wasn't going to change these out. Um, after I did extensive weighting, though, like, there's a slight, very, very slight difference between half a gram. And, again, I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference unless you're trying to build something really heavy or really light. Um, but, you know, again, the shapes probably don't do much as far as they do in the Tagar Tomi that give more weight distribution. So I just kind of do it based on style. And, like I said, if I want to make my bay heavier or lighter then I'll, I'll just find the appropriate armor that's going to be, you know, heavier or lighter. All right, and the last thing we need to grab out of the box down here is the driver. So we already got one of these. This comes, the uh, the Giga Driver, a.k.a., um, what do they call this? The QD Quad Drive uh, number two. So I guess it was their second one that they released. But basically, here is the driver. And I'm excited for this because although it's kind of tall, it's a tall version of Never. Uh, it is kind of wide, so let's see how that works out. Um, you know, then it comes with just like a standard, like, you know, um, old school Speedstorm or like maybe a Survivor from uh, Takara Tomi. So there you guys go. Uh, this is going to be really cool. Um, I'll just do a quick launch here for you guys, even though it's not on the stadium. Again, I want to make these videos a little bit quicker. Uh, and I'm going to do more videos when I actually, uh, you know, test them out. But this looks good. This is my first time using... Quad Drive Hasbro String Launcher. Oh, that feels nice. Awesome, guys. Well, thanks so much for hanging out. Don't forget, keep your face, say your prayers, spread that love, be positive, be thankful. Like and subscribe for some more Beyblade action. I'll be coming back at you. Peace.